this is another interesting uh, case which I am presenting from cardiologist's point of view. This is the case of a fetal echocardiography and I think it's a good idea to subscribe because I am going to uh, take you through a lot of cases in future and the moment I am going to post a new video, you will be notified. So let's delve into the case. Now this looks a very good simple uh, four chamber view which looks normal. Let us see what it shows. There's this is descending aorta. This is left atrium, left ventricle, interventricle septum, and the axis is normal. Right atrium and right ventricle. Both chambers are normal sized. Okay, and RARV are also normal. Interventricle septum, at least at this part, looks intact. When we tilt this to a next view, that is apical five chamber view where, or an LVOT view where we see the aorta coming out of the left ventricle, we notice very interesting thing. We notice there is a large VSD and there is an aortic ride which is about 50%. So I have already shared this on my uh, video on a tetralogy of fellow and DORV. How do you decide 50% override? So this is the override of aorta with blood coming from the right ventricle and the left ventricle filling the aorta. So this was up till here and then we go to a three vessel view and you see what? You see a single artery. The second artery is missing. Okay, you see an SVC, you see the trachea, but you see only aorta, you do not see pulmonary artery. So from here on, let us see what is our differential and what do we do. We go to a sagittal view and now here you did not see pulmonary artery coming out of the right ventricle, but you see a pulmonary artery which is filling retrogradely from the aorta. Right, so this is PA filling from the ductus arteriosus. So now from here, what is the diagnosis? Now look at this pulmonary artery again. Now this is left ventricle, right ventricle, overriding of an aorta and that's an aorta what you see. And this is the pulmonary artery which is not showing an anti-grade flow. It's showing a retrograde flow and you see the trachea sitting in the center. That means this is the right sided ductus, right sided aortic arch with left sided ductus and you see the pulmonary artery flow reversal. So what is the diagnosis still here? I am not going to end here. There is more to this case, right? So please be with me till the end of the case. By far what the diagnosis is pulmonary atresia. You didn't see pulmonary artery arising from the RV. There is a large VSD with an aortic override. That's what you saw that. And there is a retrograde filling pulmonary artery. The size of the pulmonary artery is adequate. It's not small. So this is by far the diagnosis. And then we looked at something different. Now you see this is the trachea right in the middle. And you see there is a vascular ring forming. There is an artery all around the trachea. So if you have a vessels encircling trachea, this is called a vascular ring. There are various types of vascular rings. I am going to show you a very, very uncommon and extremely rare vascular ring here. I am going to show you a pulmonary artery vascular ring. When we analyzed it further on a three-dimensional echo, you see this is the aorta. This is the pulmonary artery which is retrogradely filling and this is the right pulmonary artery. This is the left pulmonary artery. And you see another artery which is coming from the right pulmonary artery going behind the trachea toward the left side. So you have one right pulmonary artery. The left pulmonary artery is in two branches, one and two, right? And that's the diagrammatic flow. Flow reversal and pulmonary artery. Pulmonary artery otherwise should have been here leading to, let's say the normal pulmonary artery should have been here right pulmonary artery, left pulmonary artery and from the right pulmonary artery you see the left pulmonary artery, another left pulmonary artery crumb coming from there. This is the diagrammatic representation of an 
anomalous origin of the left pulmonary artery. The entire left pulmonary artery is not coming from the right pulmonary artery. It is just one branch. The second branch is normal. This is called partial anomalous left pulmonary artery coming out of right pulmonary artery. Once it is coming of the right pulmonary artery, usually it goes behind the trachea and this forms a vascular ring. Okay. Now same 3D echo which uh, we have a silhouette mode where we have removed the 2D to see things little better but the same thing the aorta and center you have a trachea which is not seen here because we have removed 2D. This is the thoracic aorta. This is the ductus filling the pulmonary artery. The right pulmonary artery, one branch of left pulmonary artery, another branch of pulmonary artery coming from the right pulmonary artery going behind the trachea, left and these two arteries, anterior and posterior branches of left pulmonary artery are going to compress the trachea when child is going to be born. So now the partial anomalous origin of right pulmonary, left pulmonary artery or a right pulmonary artery from other can go either anterior to the trachea or posterior to the trachea. Commonly, we have an anomalous region of left pulmonary artery from a right pulmonary artery, main pulmonary artery, right pulmonary artery. The entire left pulmonary artery rather than coming here goes behind the trachea and comes like this and it is coming from the right pulmonary artery, not from the main pulmonary artery. So this is something very, very important. This is forming a vascular ring. Now this vascular ring is similar to the vascular ring formed by, yes, tell me what it is, yes, if you have the mm, uh, two aortas, uh, right, so if you have aorta from both sides, that is when you get a vascular ring, there are other conditions where you get a vascular ring, so double aortic arch is the commonest vascular ring what you see. But in this case, the respiratory symptoms in the pulmonary sling happen far earlier than the double aortic arch and it's more severe. The reason being this pulmonary artery sling is associated with the tracheal stenosis. So even if you correct this vascular ring by surgery, the trachea remains stenosed and can create a problem. Now, these are the three situations of a pulmonary vascular ring. One is the total pulmonary artery, the left pulmonary artery or a partial anomalous pulmonary artery either coming anterior or going posterior from the trachea. So, this forms a vascular ring. Vascular rings anyway are uncommon. They account for less than 1% of the congenital heart disease. Pulmonary uh, sling are rare and partial pulmonary sling are even rare. Reporting in prenatal diagnosis, I presume, is extremely rare. Thank you very much. I'll keep bringing you some new mind-boggling cases. So please subscribe so that you can be notified as and when I put a new case on my YouTube channel. Bye for then. Keep learning.